That was just too close for comfort, Whitney. Tell me about it. I mean, it looks to me like someone tied up the justice of the peace because they were afraid he was going to get loose and tell everyone that you and Julian were married. When oh, Ethan can't find out, he'll never speak to me again. Teresa, that's the least of it. If Ethan knows, then he's going to tell Luis, and they are both going to kill Julian and go straight to jail for the rest of their natural lives. What, what have I done? Only the worst thing that I could ever imagine. What am I going to do, okay? Help me. Teresa, look, normally... I would tell you to go straight to Ethan and tell him the truth. But this is the exception. I mean, Ethan may be able to get over the fact that you married Julian. But I don't think he's going to forgive you for sleeping with him. Whitney, I was so drunk. I, I don't even remember it. And, and that's not going to fly with Ethan. I mean, I know that he's the most understanding guy that either one of us have ever met. But everyone has their limit. Okay. Boy, she doesn't waste any time, does she? Gwen would love nothing more than to get even back from me. And she'd pull it off in a heartbeat if she knew that you were married to Julian. Well, I just hope and pray that Julian keeps his word and annuls our marriage before it ruins all of our lives. I just want to forget that I was ever Mrs. Julian Crane. Honey. No. Don't worry. I'm sure the plane's going to be here soon. And you'll be at your mom's side in just a few hours. What if I don't make it in time? Don't say that. Your mom is the strongest person I have ever met. Now, if anyone could pull through this, Ethan, she can. All right. What would I ever do without you, Teresa? Mm -hmm.